Upon first impression, Frank West seems to just be your average journalist, but he's far more than that. I'll say, he's covered wars, you know. As a photojournalist, Frank will regularly go far beyond the call of duty to uncover his next big scoop. It was this ironclad determination which led him to a mall in the town of Willamette, Colorado, where he found the zombie apocalypse. What? Did you just say zombies? But Frank's down to rough up dozens of zombies every now and then. And with his wrestling history and battlefield experience, he's got the skills to do it. Despite never having fired a gun at another person before Willamette, Frank discovered he's a natural when it comes to firearms. He's handy with all sorts of guns, like pistols, shotguns, machine guns, and a beautiful minigun. Oh, I love it! He's even got a Silver Ghost, a unique pistol specifically designed for government agent Leon G- <laughs> Hey, wait a minute! But bullets can only last so long against a never-ending zombie horde, so Frank was forced to improvise. And thanks to being in a shopping mall, he had plenty of options. From obvious choices like sledgehammers, baseball bats, and chainsaws, to out-of-the-box picks like shampoo, lipstick, lawnmowers, and a shopping cart, Frank has an uncanny ability to effectively weaponize pretty much anything he gets his hands on. Garbage, toys, food, you name it. This guy does not overlook anything's death-dealing potential. He even uses his camera flash as a weapon. His primary camera appears to be a Nikon D100, which has a flash color temperature of 6000K, or crystal white. When used up close, it's nearly as effective on the eyes as a flashbang grenade. Anyway, Frank survived the zombie horde with flying colors. His next step was obvious. Profit from it! He became famous overnight. He was named the Hero of Willamette, hosted a TV show, and scored all sorts of endorsements. His love of using baseball bats to smash zombie skulls in even landed him a great commercial deal with Deadwood Pro Baseball. Damn, so he's making tons of money off of killing people. My dream. I know, right? All these zombies were technically people once, so when you really think about it, this whole situation is pretty freaking awesome! Ah, oh, living the dream, buddy. You earned it. Man, if that's all it takes to get on the good path, I should write a book about my own zombie experiences. What are you talking about? I'll never forget the day when I found out one of my stepdads was a zombie. And a pirate. The whole time. Really explains a lot about his corporal punishment. Uh, sure. Well, come back next week as we delve into the full episode of Leon Kennedy vs. Frank West.